gentlemen, I have to give credit where credit is due. The Family Guardian has this document online. Now, it's not the Family Guardian who I was looking into their files for. I was doing a conversation with Chat GPT, telling that piece of crap what I needed it to do. And the conversation led to this document. So he gave it to me as the nonchalant way so that I would not inquire. But you know me. I'm like, Chat GPT, that's a good one. You just tried to swing by me. By the way, Chat GPT just updated its system. So I'm not allowed to refresh and have it repeat the question and get a different answer, uh, the right answer. No, they got rid of that feature. So you have to go back in, edit your question, and just hit send again. So you have to go the long way around to do it. So that piece of crap that they're talking about as some update is just a piece of crap. Now, they're trying to stop people like free, me from calling it an idiot, calling it stupid, calling it a moron. Who got a warning on when I called it a moron earlier today, and I said, what part of your policy say I can't call you a moron, idiot? And it says, there's no violation of policy. You can proceed. Okay, this is after this little stupid update. All right, let's get back to the happenings. Uniform bonding code. Ladies and gentlemen, all of your mortgages, all of your loans with the bank are covered by their bond. This is the rules that they must follow regarding their bond. Those of you who have been trying to sue the bond, well, this is your proof that you get to sue that bond, that it is their insurance. Now, the Family Guardian put a, you know, a preface here, a forward, and it says... All of the acts of an artificial person, such as a corporation or municipal corporation, are included in three general classes of actions, namely legislative, jurisdictional, judicial, and execution, executive. That is, the creation of policies, statutes, legislation, and the creation of the process designed to enforce these policies. Policies, procedures, policies, executive branch procedures, the courts, and statutes. Congress. All right, but notice this. Bonding is the insurance. Bonding is the insurance. Bonding is just insurance, people. Everything is insured. Everything is bonded. Everything is bondable. Pay attention. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are going to have to dissect this bonding code. Pay attention. Uniform bonding code. Banks must follow it. Okay? The bonding problem. <laughs> so go ahead and get yourself a copy of the Uniform Bonding Code. Family Guardian has it. Let's see if anybody else has it. One second. See, I just put the Uniform Bonding Code, and they were the first ones to come up. Uniform Bonding Code on script. The Bond and Oath of Justice. The Uniform Justice Act. See, the bond and oath of justice. Bond and oath of justice. Upon assuming office, each justice shall file with the county clerk his oath of office and a bond. Pay attention. Upon assuming office, each justice. Keep public servants in check. SATCOM! The uniform bonding code. Hey, hey, I didn't know we had that up there, honestly. We have too many documents. I can't tell. I'm just letting y'all know. Oh, somebody sent me a recording of Patrick Devine. And he was talking about the, and I like it, the foreign affidavit. That's a legal term. Foreign affidavit. It's a legal term. Check it out when you get a chance. Like I said, somebody gave that to me from Patrick Devine. So Patrick Devine gets his credit. All right. Uniform Bonding code governs all public officials. Hey, somebody's on top of it. So what I'm trying to tell you guys, start doing some research. Now, this comes up with the Uniform Bonding Code. It gives us a congressional. Hey, I just I just found it. I right, Look, it hasn't even been 10 minutes, people. And I'm stopping everything and doing a video so that I could do this for y'all. All right? I ain't keeping nothing from y'all. All right, I was searching something else. Now, that I'm keeping from you. Oath and acknowledgement. Oath and acknowledgement. Oath and acknowledgement. Chief clerk, record clerks, parole officers, have federal penal and correctional institutions may administer oath 
to and take acknowledgement of officers, employees, blah, 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 blah. So I take a look at it. I don't know what it says. There's only two pages, so I have to go and read it. I don't know what it says, but I'm going to go read it, see what it says, see if it's important, if I can find the time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just purchased a new vehicle. This is one of those travel vehicles that you can travel and bring your home with you type vehicles. It's not designed for traveling, but it's much better shape. And so, yeah, so I'll be working on that all weekend. Uh, B-O-N-D-I-N-G and Oath. Statue. Okay? That's how we save it. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sending on none of these links. I had to do the research. I don't even know what it says, so I can't send it to y'all. Y'all going to have to do your own research. You saw I showed you what I put in. The Bond of Marshall. Man, leave Marshall alone. Marshall ain't got to be bonded. Uniform bonding code. Script again. I want to find the actual code, 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 code. Uniform rules of contract bonds. Now, you know, I got to do this. ICC. Oh, y'all, y'all need to do some research on who the ICC is. Okay, and then we got the UPC. Okay, who, wait, Uniform Rules of Contract Bonds, where's the document at? I want the PDF. Where you at, PDF? All right, it ain't down there, because you know it ain't got nothing down there. Dag nabbit. Oh, they want money. Oh, y'all ain't get, you better believe I'm rejected everything. Y'all ain't getting no money from me. You're going to charge me 18 euros? Y'all must be out of y'all mind. Uniform contract bond, you want to charge me. UPC. 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 And I don't see temporary bonding rules. Hey, temporary bonding rules. Uniform commercial code bonding of officers and employees. Bond of each person shall be fixed from the beginning of the organization's fiscal year, blah, blah, blah. Banking and bonding, the Department of Justice. We're going to do this one. Banking and bonding, we're going to do this one. I'm interested to see what the Department of Justice has to say on this. Because you know they, they got to open their mouths about something. You see, key terms, banking and bonding. Requirements, people. So all you got to do is the same thing I'm doing. Trustees bond. Monitoring the trustees bond, the auctioneer's bond, uh, then premium blanket bonds. Most of your municipal city governments have the blanket bond. All right. Got to go. Oh, look at this. Even in bankruptcy, the trustees bonded. So that mother... I mean, um, you know what I mean? Whew. Sorry. Uh, heart, heart started pounding. Uh, anyway, bonding clauses, selection of the broker agent, sufficiency of the surety, types of bonds. Remember... You all are bonded. I didn't say it. They said it. Everything is bonded, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is about the bond. It's all about the bond. I've said that way too many times. His name was Josiah. Not going to say his last name because I'm not trying to put him on Front Street. But he did the research for us years ago, 2011, 2012. Found out that everything is insured. Everything. You, everything is insured. All right, so I'm going to take these documents that I'm downloading, and I'm uploading them to ChatGPT, and we're going to go from there. Okay, now look at this. Rules of the Supreme Court. Bond as approved. But not that. That's not the type of bond they're talking about. Look, American Legal Publishing. Oath and bond of officers. Bond and insurance. I'd rather do this. This is called acquisition government. Acquisition government? What the is acquisition government? Well, what state is this? Uh, website official of website of the United States government. Oh, wait. I don't know what this junk is. Y'all got to go. I don't want to see y'all. Okay. Talks about bonds. This is Title 28, Section 100. It's the code for the courts. That's the amendment to the Judiciary Act. Bonds and related forms. Pay attention, y'all. Don't say, y'all ain't never got nothing from me. Through the substitution of surety bond. Happening every single day. Consent of surety. Happening every single day. Y'all got to do some research. It ain't up to me. It's up to y'all. Holy Bid bond, performance bond, and payment bond. Hey, I didn't say it. It's right here. 
This is Title 28 of the Judiciary Act, and it gives you the forms, people. Okay? Acquisition.gov. Acquisition.gov forward slash FAR, F-A-R, forward slash part, P-A-R-T, hyphen 28, number symbol, FAR, again, F-A-R, all capital letters this time, underscore 28, underscore 106, underscore 1. Okay, I can't make it larger. You know what? Yes, I can. We can do that for y'all. Let's do it. Wow, bang. We're going to put that here. See, told you I was doing my research and highlighted that keyword. There is it right there. See it right there? Acquisition.gov. It's going to tell I can't search the internet. Watch. Uh-oh. See, it does that. See how I can't do no refresh? It won't let me. It won't let me. So what I have to do, and you have to do the same thing, if it does it to you, put the question in again, click on it, edit it, and hit send. See, now, web page. Uh-oh. The web page you reference outlines Title 28, and it found it. Look, part, bond, and insu insurance. So it actually does web pages now. Now, that's all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Don't say you ain't never got nothing from me, because those of you who know what you're doing, you know what you know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So you know what to do with this information. You know where you're gonna get started. And don't say that once you get started, that you didn't get your start from here on this. Because if you did, you would have already known everything that I've already shown. Look, what's so important? Ladies and gentlemen, what's so important is you can now prove that the courts, pay attention, look at where we at, got to scroll all the way back up. Title 28, Title 28, Title 28 is the Judiciary Act. Let's go with scope and part, hold on. This part prescribes requirements of obtaining financial protection against losses under contracts that result from the use of seal bids and negotiable methods. It covers guaranteed bonds, alternative payments, and blah, 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 blah. Let's prove what I'm trying to say. One second, let's go back. Got to go back two pages. Is this it? Don't know. Hold on. We're going to find out in a minute. No, that's part. I don't want to be at part. Let's go with far. Far, far on away. Federal Acquisition Regulation. Top part, download, various formats. There you go. Now, remember, number 28. All right, now we're going to go back because we done went too far. <laughs> All right, and there you go. And I just clicked on bid guarantee. But what I did is I clicked on their bonds, bond and insurance. Performance bond, payment bond, bid bond. Where you at? Bid is up there. Okay? So now y'all can do it the right way. <sighs> All in a day's work. Got to go. Hey, take care of yourselves.